Hello all of my gorgeous angels and devils, today I am playing Discourse, and this is day four. Whew, I'm exhausted, that was not the greatest night of sleep I've ever had. Looks like some of the rainwater collected in puddles in here. That's convenient. I've always slept better in storms. There's something beautiful about nature cleansing itself. You're a nature guy, Garrett? I wouldn't expect you to get out too much. The sound of rain is usually peaceful, but I'm finding it difficult to think that way right now. All storms are good for back home with scaring the livestock and ruining the crops. We need to get our campfire going again. The torch is almost out. I'll see if there's any dry wood in here. Oh my god! We forgot Disky! Oh no, what if he doesn't make it? Heaven forbid! Poor Disky, we've abandoned him! Well, there's nothing we can do now, we just have to hope for the best. I suppose you're right. I just feel really bad. Poor Disky. What are these? Some kind of mushrooms. I like the, the glowing shrooms. I forget how to play this. <laughs> how do I play this? Here's one. I think we'll need a bit more, though. Looks like this cave is a little leaky. Still way better than our old camp, though. These walks have some interesting patterns. Too bad I don't know anything about geology. All I can do is appreciate the aesthetics. There we go. I think that's, is that the only other piece of wood? Hopefully this will get a good blaze going. Good work, Rita. Now we can do something about food. I'm starving here. Hold on, at least let me get the fire going first. Yeah, just wait patiently. You hear me? Just wait. And then she sits on her butt. There's a kitty! Did anyone hear that? Look, there's a cat over there. Aw, it's like someone's pet cat. Meow. What's a cat doing in here anyway? It's hiding from us, it must be afraid. Until we can confirm it's organic, we should assume it's a recon drone. We should just wait and let it come to us, it's probably scared. Why don't we just try to grab it? Maybe, it might be nice to have some company. Wait for it to come to us. You sure? What if it wanders and gets into trouble? Why don't you go ahead and try to grab it, Jolene? Right, just wait here a moment. Until it, like, attacks her. It's not my fault if it attacks her. Come back here, you! Oh. Oh, great. Stop. Wait, Jolene, don't leave the cave. It's too dangerous in the storm. Oof, I almost had it, too. It's certainly not worth risking my life for a cat. If you wouldn't listen to me in the beginning, things aren't looking too good for us, are they? It's been a stressful few days. Maybe we should all take a break, spend some time to, tr to try calming our nerves. We can take a quick nap and then this evening we'll deal with the food problem. As much as I'd like to do something more productive, a bit of actual rest wouldn't go amiss right now. Nap time! There's an idea I can get behind. As long as it's only a few hours, there's a lot we need to do. Just try to relax, our mental health can be just as important as our physical health. We'll talk more in a few hours. Okay, everyone's gonna sleep after they just woke up. Whatever. Wake up. And they all wake up at the same time. Wow, I needed that. Sounds like it's still storming outside. It's time we focused ourselves. Okay, we've got more important things to deal with now. We really need to talk about food. We've been on this island for days and we had nothing to eat. There isn't really anything we can do about it. We can't venture out due to the storm. Oh, I'm so hungry. Hmm. I guess there's nothing we can do about this. Hey, uh, Steve, can I talk to you in private for a second? Seriously, this better be quick. Just come out. Just come over here. It won't take long. What are they doing? I wonder what this is all about. Poor boy's probably just scared. We've been through a lot. Who cares what he's on about? It's just Garrett. They're clearly conspiring to murder the rest of us. I knew this would happen eventually. Shh, they're coming back. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, yeah, so what were we talking about before? We, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. There's nothing to eat. All we have is this fire. Nothing left to do until we decide to go to sleep, I guess. I want to go out. I want to see the storm. I don't want to talk to you. Don't bother asking me what Garrett said. You're not even going to let me say anything first? I don't want to hear it. Keep your suspicions, suspicions to yourself. Fine. Yeah, uh, really sucks that we have no food. Yeah, it's tough, but I hope we'll get past this alive. Hopefully we can find something to eat tomorrow. I know what Garrett and Steve are talking about over there. I'm actually an adept lip reader. I know all about their plan to inject me with experimental drugs while I sleep. Wow, you really think that they do that? 
Lesson number one, Rita. Never trust anybody. Ever. I'm so hungry. I hope we can find some food tomorrow. Me too. I've never been this hungry in my life. No sense complaining about it any anymore. We should just try to rest. Yeah, you're right. Garrett and Steve sure were acting suspicious just now. Yeah, I wonder what they were doing. Part of me doesn't even want to know. Some things are better left unsaid, you know? I think you might be right about that. I guess we're sleeping in this cave tonight. Go to bed. Good night, everyone. Good night. It's hardly call it a night. It, I'd hardly call it a good night, but I guess we need to sleep. If I die before we wake, it's been a pleasure knowing you all. Despite the circumstances, let's, let's at least try to get a good rest. Good night, everyone. Yeah, everyone, this is all they did on day four was sleep. Day four was sleeping. That's it. That's all day four was. Well, now we're on to day five. Let's see. Looks like we've survived another night. Woo! Things are looking up. Barely. My stomach feels like it's going to implode. Quit your complaining, Teddy. This isn't exactly a picnic for any of us. Complaining won't make this any better. I know, I know. Let up a little. I'm running on fumes here. It sounds like the storm has finally ended. Well, at least there's a bit of good news. If we don't eat soon, we're going to have a real problem. Our goal today has to be to go find something to eat. So, who's going to go out searching? I feel way too weak after going so long without food. Well, uh, I think I could probably manage. Really? You sure? Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. I'll come with you, Garrett. Oh, what are they doing? They're gonna get food for themselves. Those two seem just a bit too energetic. Oh well, I shouldn't complain about them volunteering to go out. I still feel pretty weak. I guess I'll just hang out here until they return. I don't want to be you. Can I be someone else that's gonna go out? I don't want to stay around the fire. I went to search. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I fell asleep. I feel so weak. Need to eat something. Wait, where's Garrett? Garrett's gone, I'm afraid. We were foraging in these bushes. We found some edible nuts. Enough for all of us. Then a jaguar just came out of nowhere. I barely got away. Garrett wasn't so lucky. I'm glad that jaguar didn't try to follow me. Uh, I think you may have spoken too soon. I can't believe this. I thought I had lost it. We need to make a distraction. Quick. Uh, flash a camera. Here, kitty. Uh-oh. Everybody run! I can't get away! We need to help Jolene. I'll save you, Jolene. Oh my goodness. There's a kitty. Oh no. George! No! Oh no! We need to get out of here. Oh no, we lost. We lost two people. If Garrett's really dead. Oh no. I can't believe that Jaguar killed George. I hate this damn island. So much for that cave. It's obviously not a safe place. Let's head back to our original camp and regroup there. Good thinking. Let's go. Yikes, our camp is in terrible shape after that storm. It's a good thing we left for the cave when we did, otherwise we'd all be toast. We're lucky to be standing here right now. We still have these nuts that Steve and Garrett found. Everybody should eat some while we have a chance. This food is a godsend. You're telling me it's no home cooking, but it's gonna hit the spot. Yeah. This is pretty much home cooking for me. My cooking skills aren't spectacular. Oh, Steve, I could whip up something that... That's nice, Jolene. We've been on this island for five days now. We have to do something. Let's just enjoy our food for now. I don't think that will be too difficult. We can deal with this tomorrow. There's no reason to ruin the moment. We should start getting ready for bed. Normally I'd grab a torch from the fire, but I guess we're going to bed in the, by the moonlight tonight. Man, I'm tired. I shouldn't stay up too long. Everyone, they're like, okay, let's go to sleep, you know, but people died. Hey, Jolene. I miss my George so much. I can't imagine losing somebody that I've had right next to me for most of my life. That has to be so painful. I've never felt more pain in my life. Just remember, you always have me to lean on. It's good to have you around now that George is gone. Well, I only wish I could do more. He was a good man. Yes, yes he was. Well, I need to get some rest. Alright, good night, Jolene. And she was gonna divorce him, so... So what do you think the odds of us getting found are? Odds? Odds? That's such a ridiculous question to ask, Rita. We don't know if this is an alien or government operation. What does that have to do with- That has everything to do with everything! Calculating the odds without that information is just ludicrous. That's like make, trying to bake cookies without having artichokes. Wait, you make cookies with- Nope. You know what? I don't want to know. 
You know, this little beach has kind of grown on me. <laughs> I think it's better than the studio that I was living in back home. What? Surely you had better digs than this. Nope, I had no reason to. I have no wife or kids. I really don't need much space. Don't you have a girlfriend or something? You seem like a nice enough guy. Nah, I'm riding the solo train right now. Is that by choice? I don't know. I've never really found the right person. I spent too long with commitment issues, and now that I'm this age, it's slim pickings. I see. I'm kind of moved on from having an extended relationship. Well, as long as you're happy, I suppose. Yeah, as long as I'm happy. I'm really tired. I should get some sleep. Sure could use my mattress back home right about now. I don't care how uncomfortable the ground is. I'm ready to collapse. That's all she does is sleep, though. That is all she does. It makes me mad. You can do more than just sleep. Well, I'm going to end this here. I don't know. We lost two people. So sad. <laughs> but if you enjoyed and would like to see more, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll talk to you all later. Bye! Okay, we're back in the kitchen. There's the stairs. Let's go upstairs. I'm not sure how long I have. <laughs> I don't think the stamp would be in there.